Psalm 51, verses 1 and 2, the Bible says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. This is a passage from a psalm that David wrote in regard to his own sin with Bathsheba. When confronted by the prophet Nathan, David did face the music and he sincerely repented of his great trespass against the Lord. David made things right with God and got his life back on track. At some point during this time, he wrote this psalm, Psalm 51. Often we make the mistake of thinking that God hates us because of what we have done. While God may hate what we did, He certainly loves us. The truth is, God loves us no matter what we have done. When we sin, even when we sin in a big way, we must always remember that God wants to forgive us and God wants to help us get our lives back on track once again. We can learn from David's example when it comes to making things right whenever we transgress against the Lord. David's example teaches us that getting back on track requires a change of heart, a change of mind, and a change of direction. Listen to some of the things that David prayed. He prayed, cleanse me, wash me, blot out all my iniquity, create in me a clean heart, renew a steadfast spirit within me. Maybe you have failed God recently. You need to be reminded today that this is not the time to give up. This is the time to get up. Stop settling for what the devil wants for you to have. It is not how well we start this race, it's how well we finish it. Finishing this race requires us, even when we blow it in a big way, that in the name of Jesus, we gotta get back up. Thank you.